So we're out to find the southern sway blade. So it's a really, really tiny orchid. Uh, we're only, you only find it in like kind of floodplains and swamps. And it's only out uh, late January and mid February. So it's about that big. Ooh. So you can step on it really easily. So we gotta be really careful. Hoping it will be out. <laughs> I'm excited. So yes, we've just discovered it. Well, we didn't discover it. We just found it here at Julington Durban Preserve. Here's Shirley Denton over here trying to grab a photo. So here's one just going into bud. And it has a red stem, two leaves. So we're here. We found some twig blades already, and um, we're looking at the habitat. And it's pretty mucky where we're at. And uh, in the floodplains, they're they flood seasonally, and so we tend to find these tway blades growing on kind of mats of hummus, like rotted logs and stuff like that. So this would be a good spot to find them. Lots of sphagnum moss. Yeah, I know. Does that help? Yeah. Oh, they're so small. Oh, so these are... Yeah, that's some. There's two babies. there. Yeah, yeah, you got two. You found What's your two. Yeah. Yeah. So underneath the leaves, they're kind of like, um, yeah. is it palos? Or it's like furry, it's like soft tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes. 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 <laughs> so it's soft hairs. Mm -hmm. So the idea is like the morning dew gets trapped in the hairs and it absorbs the water because mm -hmm. this, this habitat's like drier. Mm -hmm. so I think that, that's, that's a lot that makes sense. So in the morning, it's going to collect the dew under the leaves. I think is what they do. Oh, is that why that? Pretty sure, yeah. Uh -huh. That's what I've heard. That's pretty amazing. I had no no clue. Yeah, yeah this is the start of my back there. You can just take points and go back and visit. I'll see you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.